Okay, so now let us see what is return statement and functions. So we use return statement basically whenever we want to end any function and return a particular value to the function call. That is whenever we call a function, we get this value in return and it basically the function ends there. So I know what I'm saying is a bit tough to understand. I'll just code it so you understand what is happening. So I'll write define. See, uh, I want to Q print a cube of something, some number. So suppose that number is X and I just want to, you know, print out the cube. So to, you know, to return a cube of number to the function call, I'll just write a return statement inside it. So I'll write return. This is the return statement and what I want to return is X cube. So you can do one more thing. You can, after this, you can make a variable cube equals to X raised to three and return Q. So instead of that, okay, instead of that, we can save one line and simply return X raised to three. You can do this thing as well. So this is basically a function it will return the cube of any particular number. So now I just have to call that function. So whenever you use the return statement, remember you are not you are not printing x cube. And to see the output you will have to print it. So basically if you just simply call this function now, it will not do anything. And first obviously I'll have to take some input. I forgot about it. Wow. X equals to integer input. And cube will be cube of x. So now let us run this code. Suppose I write 3 over here. See it didn't do anything. It just processed 3. It saw cube. It will return cube of x raised to 3. Wow. It will just return x 3 is cube. So to this call. So it just returned it and it didn't do nothing. So we'll have to print it, right? Print the cube. So for that what you can do, you can simply write print. And then inside print you can call that function. So that when you return it, it will simply print out the cube. Okay. So now let us run it. And suppose I write 2. So 2 is cube is 8. So it's, it's fine. So that's all. But actually there's one more thing. After after this return statement, the function basically will end. So I, I'll tell you what is happening. So first of all, you know, this will not run. It will, the controller will go to this statement. It will take x as the input. Then it will say print. It has to print something. Okay. Then it will see cube of x. Then we'll see this function cube of x. Then it will see x. We pass some x that whatever x was. And then it simply will return x cube. So when it returns x cube, the x cube's value will get stored in this or not stored it will just print out basically it will just print x cube this whole statement whatever we are returning it will print out so that's all so you know let us do one more thing i want to tell you in, after this return statement if you write something else over here it will not run it will just simply not run so you can try printing out wow i'll have to write it inside okay and inside this suppose i write i am finished that means the function is finished and now if I run it uh, okay and again to it printed out it and it didn't print the statement out but you can do one thing you can just copy the statement and paste it over here and you can say I am started so that you understand here the function is called and when I'm saying I am started the function is called then this uh, cube is printed and then it will say I have finished but after the return statement, it will not execute any statements after it. So let us see, run and see what happens. So if I write 3, see it says 3, okay, it says cube of, it takes 3 in here. Then it says cube of 3, then it takes 3, then it prints out this first. Then it returns x raised to 3. That's all that is, that, that is does do actually. And afterwards, see, and we got a highlight as well over here. Because after return statement, if you write anything, it does not work. It simply does not work. After return statement, the... Uh, you know compiler or control basically understands we have to end the function and return a value that's it so it does not see any of these statements afterwards and one more thing if you can you know you can get none as well so basically when you print out something so i am a function suppose you write print out i am a function and you run this code now okay and it does not require any variable and all so i'll just you know take it out cube of x okay Fine. Now suppose, see it just printed out I am a function and it printed out none as well. So why does it print out that is, whenever you, so see, you know it will not go to this. First it will, the controller will come to the statement, it has to print something. So okay, it will say what I have to print, it will say yes, I have to print the cube or something. So when it will go over here, this function is basically printing it first. Because you are writing print away, you are not returning something, you are basically printing it. So it will print this out. But what will this print statement do? It does not have anything to do. So if it does not have anything to do, it will simply print out none. That's what it will do. So if you don't want none, when you are using print statement inside the function, you can simply call the function like this. So it will just print out I am function and you are not using any print statement, so it will not print out none. And one more thing you can do is, I'll just again write print cube. Uh, and I, if I run this code, it will print none as well. So if I don't want to print out none, you can just write return 
and inside you don't have to use brackets it's optional but it's fine if you use brackets there's no problem and you can return this string as well so it, it will do it will work simply as same as it is there's no worries in it so that's all thank you